Toyota presents FC Dallas Extra Time, an all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, it might be warming up outside, but we're embracing the cold with Matt Hedges. We're getting to know some of your favorite FC Dallas players. You might be surprised at Victor Yoa's favorite movie or what Chris Seitz's dream job is. And we're also getting you ready for tonight's match against the LA Galaxy with our special guest, Stephen Keel, now on FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. <laughs> FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. And welcome to FC Dallas Extra Time presented by Toyota. I am Gina Miller, your host for the next 30 minutes where we will preview FC Dallas's upcoming match against the LA Galaxy right here on TXA 21. Also over the course of the next half hour, we're taking you off the pitch and into the cryotherapy chamber with Matt Hedges. We're braving the sub-zero temps to just determine what exactly that experience is like. We're also getting to know Chris Seitz and Victor Ulloa and Victor's favorite movie, might just surprise you, but I am not alone here on FC Dallas Extra Time. Joining me, FC Dallas defender Stephen Keel, my partner in crime for the next 30 minutes. Gina, good seeing you. Great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. And, and you know this, having been in Dallas and North Texas since 2013, FC Dallas fans want more soccer coverage. This is the start of something pretty cool here with this 30-minute show dedicated to your favorite soccer club. Absolutely. You know, the fans want it, so we gave it to them. Similar to a genie. You know, we're like from Aladdin. A little genie, rub that lamp. We'll give it you what you need. Poof, done, and here we are. Next 30 minutes or so, we are covering any anything and everything FC Dallas related. Now, I do know that fans would love to see you back out there, but that is not the case. You injured your foot in August of last year. I did. Had surgery in December, and then surgery mid-April, just a few weeks ago, to sort of clean up mm -hmm. that December surgery. Get us caught up to speed in terms of where you are from a health standpoint. Um, yeah, so like you said, had a couple surgeries, procedures, kind of went in there, clean it up, but uh, I'm probably a good two, two to three weeks from uh, rejoining the team on the practice field. Um, started running and jogging, which is uh, which is fun and good. It's uh, needed for soccer. And um, minor details. Yes, yeah, just, <laughs> just little details here and there. But so about two to three weeks away from training, and then you know, assuming everything, there's no setbacks and everything uh, reacts accordingly. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, as soon as the fitness comes and the sharpness. Um, hopefully be back on, on this field. So, And we see this from players all the time when they're rehabbing, rehabbing and recovering from an injury. They do tend to come back in better shape than what they were in before. Are you sort of trending in that direction as well? Yeah, I, I sure hope so. Um, you know, I think our trainers have done a fantastic job of not only, you know, treating, uh, you know, the feet, which has been bothering me, um, but also keeping up with my cardio and strength. Uh, we do even do some weird stuff where you like restrict the blood flow and really get the you know the guns popping. So you know if, if anything is going to be jacked, I'm going to be jacked in, in a, a good way, in a healthy, non-illegal way. Right. You know, like one of those that you want to take a bathroom selfie of, but we don't do that because I'm over the age of 30. Yes. But even if you do over the age of 30, that's fine too. It's you know to each their own. No judgment. We are zero judgment here. So yeah, no, but to be uh, to be honest, yeah, I feel you know stronger getting more healthier and uh, you know hopefully I think that's the goal from rehab is to when I hit the field you know I'm not having to uh, make up so much of the, the physical aspect. So we're looking forward to seeing you back in a couple of weeks but I do want to go back to that match in August of last year. This image when you injured your right foot during the club's US Open semifinal match against Philadelphia you injured your foot played for another 15 minutes then hobbled around in not one but two yeah. extra time periods. Right. Yeah. Um, it's one of those is uh, I don't remember too much of it. I remember there was quite a bit of pain. Um, you know, I had a little bit of pain in my heel before the, or during the game earlier, and then uh, as I was running, I just felt a nice pop, um, and it kind of swelled up on me. But we were uh, unfortunately out of subs, and so, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to grip it and rip it. And, uh, you know, I stayed out there. Uh, uh, probably wasn't that much of a help to the team, but uh, physically, you know, just you know, not having the team go down a man. So I just wanted to do that and you know, fight for the guys on the team. So. When you consider how FC Dallas had started the season near the top of the Western Conference, the start has been quite nice for this club. But I would make the case that any ball club, any club, no matter what sport, would love a veteran player like you, especially a veteran center back as it relates to FC Dallas. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. I, I, you know, it's been absolutely brutal, um, you know, mentally and physically. Not being out there with the guys, uh, it, you know, there's your your good days and your bad days. Uh, you know, I have a, a wonderful support cast, you know, with the, the teammates here, and then you know my girlfriend and my family and friends that 
keep me uh, keep me on on edge when I, I want to want to falter and everything. But uh, no, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. So instead, you become a cheerleader. As, oh, I am one of the best cheerleaders out there. Seriously, one of the best. And I'm sure you have new respect for all the cheerleaders across the Texas, you what, right? Yeah, the new cheerleaders, <laughs> like that's hard. It's hard stuff. I respect that. I respected it before, but I respect it even more. Okay, well, I respect you for hanging out with me. You you up for sticking around for a little bit more here? Yeah, I got nowhere to be. Let's hang out. We invite you to stick around for much more here on FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. This is your tundra, your castle on wheels, and here you rule. Go anywhere, do anything. Just the turn of that key, and you're off, free to roam. But first, a little ballet. The 2015 Toyota Tundra, with stylish design and high-tech features. It's American built for today's truck driver. Toyota, let's go places. We don't give up. We don't quit. We keep going. Dallas faces the New York Red Bulls Friday, May 15th at 8 p.m. presented by Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital Plano. Tickets are on sale now at fcdallas.com.